You got an ill? I've got a pill. You got an ill? I've got a pill. You've got an ill? I've got a pill. Ah, you might be wondering what is this? Is this some ad slogan of a new pill in the market? No, 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 my dear ones. This is the history of medicine in the last 200 years encapsulated in a short sentence. And you might keep still thinking, how is this? But that's the whole story. Uh, everyone who's gone to medical college, including me, uh, 1990s, 30 years back. What struck me very hard uh, about the college in terms of whatever we did over there, in terms of learning about human medicine, uh, human healing, human repair, uh, getting rid of sickness was, the approach was very much uh, based on fixing the sickness. And being a very curious child, I felt there has to be more to this because whatever was happening was giving a, a sense of you know, emptiness to me. So what I did, I, I did my own research, I tried to get to the root of the matter, look at things, came across some very interesting points in history. One was uh, René Descartes saying, I think, therefore I am. Though he was not related to the medical curriculum, his presence and all the people at that time, their presence had a large impact on human society. They started looking at whatever that can be measured, whatever that can be seen is real, whatever that cannot be measured, cannot be seen is not real. And understandably so. Okay. After any regards with Newtonian thinking, we went into a very reductionistic approach and what that meant was we, we broke down matter into different parts and studied it and from studying that we tried to gather what is the entire thing. Very different from quantum thinking and that's what happened in medical college. Uh, we entered and there was a big hall, dead bodies were kept and we were chop them step by step for a full year and a half and understand the human body and understandably so because that was the closest we could get an experience of what the human body is but was that the entire thing? It was not. Even after breaking down the, 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 the full, uh, what do you say, human body into different systems, circulatory system, respiratory system and other things, uh, what we gather at the end of the entire four and a half five and a half years was you got an ill, I've got a pill or maybe I've got some surgery for you which I can fix it and I was not happy, I was not happy, uh, it bothered me, it made me feel there's something more to human existence in terms of healing, in terms of change uh, and uh, my heart really broke one particular day, I remember very clearly uh, there was a day and I, whenever I remember I get up, feel deep within, uh, it's almost like crying whenever I recall that and that is the day on the deathbed of Louis Pasteur, deathbed of Louis Pasteur, Louis Pasteur, an epitome of uh, scientific discoveries and benefit to mankind, Louis Pasteur helped us understand the germ theory. Uh, got in antibiotics starting with penicillin but what many people don't know is that there was an equivalent scientist at that point of time by the name of Claude Bernard. Claude Bernard was pushing a theory called as systems theory and what that meant was uh, the human being as it is will do well if the milieu interior, which means the internal system, the entire thing which works in accordance uh, with each other in a dynamic dance, if that is working well, 
the human being rocks he does well whereas pasta had the view that germ is the thing and the moment the germ enters the system we are powerless about it and you know we have to take antibodies we have to kill the germ and there was a tussle between them which went on for a while and we know who's who was the winner at that point of time because for last 150 years the germ theory has dominated medicine we have a big repercussion in terms of uh, you know huge number of pharmaceutical companies coming up with more and more pills more and more pills still the earth is unhealthy despite the number of hospitals increasing despite the number of molecules coming up we are still not experiencing great health so what is the story about the dead bed which made me cry what happened was louis pasteur on his dead bed said to his favorite students at the end of his life that bernard was right bernard was right germ is nothing the system is everything and as you feel this as you register this as you recognize this notice what those sentences though it came from a learned man at the end of his life they came too late by that time system theory had shot down germ theory had taken over and we are seeing the repercussions of that of course it's been very helpful all medicines are very helpful all pills are very helpful but whatever problem we want to solve over there it has created a different set of problems right now and we have a curious inquisitive child i said okay whatever has happened has happened i have gone through my medical curriculum what do i do now in terms of my life in terms of if i want to do anything different in this world and that took me on to exploration i said i need to explore the system more and more i have learned a part of the science over here but i need to understand the system more and more so initial days were days of yoga and ayurveda three years uh, and yoga is a very interesting system very integrated system very unified system uh, It starts with yoga, chitta vritti nirodha, and there's nothing of that in in allopathy in medicine. No, there was an element of the mind that came in when we studied about yoga in detail. There was an element of body, and the connection of the mind and body started getting more and more established. Um, Ayurveda also very interesting system, very different system. Um, Homeopathy also very different system, interesting system. I was never satisfied with any one thing because I always felt that each and every so-called organization or system that exists is trying to still give us a perspective of the deeper system which exists in all of us. So the learning went on and on and on. Uh, I went through a range of meditations that are available in this country, and this country is beautiful with wonderful sages and meditations. So I went through many of them. Uh, give you a different feel of things. Um, went into uh, healing, Reiki, pranic healing, you know, quantum touch, soul, mind, body healing, so-called intangible stuff cannot be measured, but there were effects. Pains are coming down, feelings are better. We started understanding that besides the physical body, there is energy around us. There is energy around us. There is something that infuses us. Maybe we call it the spirit. Okay, I don't know what it is. I'm still discovering, but there is something deeper inside us, which gives us the energy, which gets things in balance. And if we have to become healthier, it just fills in all the answer. So the learning went on and on and on. Now I'm 47 years young, trying to make many many people young. And you might be curious, what is this man doing now? What is really happening now with all this? kind of disillusionment with medicine and all this exploration with different parties what is the output what is the output and the thought before i share the output is as follows that you know i felt that there are so many scientists and learned men working on newer and newer molecules why don't we have global organizations working on fixing the system the entire system Why are we fixing the energies? Why are we infusing the spirit and the heart into the whole thing? The rational mind always loves 
the science and the creative brain, the creative side of us always dances and rejoices with the emotions and the spirit. And how do we blend this? How do we make it come together? There are many organizations, you know, and wonderful organizations with well-meaning intentions doing work on yoga, you're doing work on highway, doing work on homeopathy, doing work on naturopathy, trying to blend something somewhere and many things. And I felt still the scientific temperament which is needed along with the spiritual temperament together and proving for the scientific world that boss here address the system, see the results. And I'm here to bring those news to all of you which are very, very heartening for some of you, mind-blowing for some of you, unimaginable. Uh, as of now, as I speak, I receive energies, I receive blessings of thousands of people because they experience deep healing. And if healing is a very diffi difficult word for you to digest, then it's about getting rid of medications, getting rid of insulin, uh, reducing the fat, becoming fitter, running marathons and cycling for 10 kilometers, 20, 25, Run 21, 42, 56 ultra marathons uh, and be very positive, getting rid of grief, getting rid of anger, getting rid of loss of hope and fear and worry about their health. Uh, so, a lot of blessings flow to us, our organization, which is called Freedom from Diabetes, and the numbers are quite surprising more than 7,000 people are free of medications completely. And being free of medication is just the tip of the iceberg. Why it has happened, you need to understand, is because we worked at the level of the body, fixing the diet, fixing the exercise. We've worked at the level of the mind, trying to get the inner transformation in place, get the negative energies out, get the positivity built up, get the motivation up, get the discipline up, and infuse wonderful energies in the groups uh, through actual proven healing modalities. If you are still finding it difficult to figure out the numbers, let me give examples which will help you relate to the story better, which, which makes our heart grow, which makes us feel great. And you know, things like if you ever heard of anyone taking, you know, insulin for seven years, maybe tablets for 30 years, uh, you might write off the person that he's never going to become free. And Ranraj is the name, he's from Mumbai, he's free. Uh, not only of tablets and insulin, but he's also consumed 15 teaspoons of glucose. 15 teaspoons of glucose. Something unheard of. And he's not one person. Like him, there are hundreds of them. Uh, one more gentleman uh, in, in, in Mumbai again, Takesh, 37 years on insulin. 37 years on insulin, now completely free of insulin. And the people want results, okay? Whether you give me a pill or you address the system, I want results. I'm here for becoming healthy. And that's what they're discovering. You know, I think across the planet, people are discovering that the old science, which is got caught in the pills, is not the solution to current health problems. We need to fix the system. And in the system, we need to bring in the body, the mind, the spirit, the energies, everything in it. And that's the way forward. So people have embraced us across the world. People from 40 countries, uh, 200 plus cities, you know, across India and across so many countries, they are just lapping up the systemic approach that freedom from diabetes is taken and enjoying the journey of becoming free, not only from medicine and insulin, because if we need them, we need them. We should take them. Okay, we should take that. But if we need that, we take that. So we kind of have the medical protocol in place and other protocols in place slowly to help them come free. And my urge to everybody who's listening right now, all my fellow batchmates, my seniors, my juniors at BJ Medical Pune, and across the entire world, all the medical fraternity, my urge to all of you is very simple. And that is, don't ask what the world needs. 
ask yourself what makes your heart sing what makes your heart sing because what the world really needs is people with hearts that sing so dear ones follow your heart you were just one crore diabetics in 1980 we are seven crores plus right now heading towards 10 crore plus i saw it about diabetes heart disease cholesterol obesity there's a lot of work for us as doctors and non-doctors so let us reclaim bernard let us reclaim all the teachers who've been systemic in their approach who've been bringing the heart and spirituality in the treatment and align ourselves so that we can create a better world, a healthier world.